Beloved, grace and peace to you in the name of Jesus. I'm here at St. Matthew's to bring you a devotion. We're going to try to post one of these every day to help you keep a holy Lent, but also to help us uh, be connected even when we can't meet in person. Today is St. Patrick's Day, March 17th, so I thought I would read a portion of St. Patrick's prayer. I won't read the whole thing. You might want to look up the entire prayer. It's beautiful. Here's the portion I wanted to read for you today. As I arise today, may the strength of God pilot me, the power of God uphold me, the wisdom of God guide me, may the eye of God look before me, the ear of God hear me, the word of God speak for me, may the hand of God protect me, the way of God lie before me, the shield of God defend me, the host of God save me. May Christ be with me, Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ in me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ on my right, Christ on my left, Christ when I lie down, Christ when I sit, Christ when I stand, Christ in the heart of everyone who thinks of me, Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks of me, Christ in the every eye that sees me, Christ in every ear that hears me. This prayer is also known as the breastplate of St. Patrick, and a breastplate is a piece of armor, the one that goes right here, protecting all of your vital organs and your heart especially. You could read this prayer as a way to battle up, to put on armor, to get ready for a fight. And that might seem appropriate in these days when we're getting hand sanitizer and wearing gloves and social distancing, that we need to protect ourselves and be ready for battle. I was thinking about this prayer today and thinking that perhaps instead of thinking of it as a way to tell God how to prepare us for battle, we might think of it instead as a way to slowly, systematically, and intentionally remind ourselves of the divine presence that is always around us and always within us and that every line of the poem might be another way to rest in that holy presence, to relax into it, and to remember that we are in God's hands. Let me read that last, that last portion for you again. This time, maybe you want to close your eyes. Christ with me. Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ in me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ on my right, Christ on my left, Christ when I lie down, Christ when I sit, Christ when I stand, Christ in the heart of everyone who thinks of me, Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks of me. Christ in every eye that sees me. Christ in every ear that hears me. Peace be with you today. Amen.